Happy Tuesday. Thanks for clicking to WYTV.com. I'm meteorologist Ryan Halicki into our Tuesday night. I'm tracking a large storm system in the central plains here. This is going to cause another outbreak of severe weather across much of the central plains into our Tuesday night. The storm will be moving in our direction over the next 24 hours. That severe threat tomorrow for Wednesday, while it is greater to our west, we'll be watching though as the cold front approaches Wednesday night. Lowest threat category, level one of five, noses into central Ohio, cuts off just outside side of our borders. But as I always say, storms don't know to stay within the lines. We're going to have to watch, especially as that cold front comes through early morning hours on our Thursday uh, for the chance there for a few gusty showers or a gusty thunderstorm. Winds are going to pick up either way. I do expect a strong southerly wind setting up for Wednesday with the potential. We stop here at 4 p.m. during the afternoon and evening. We'll be watching for the potential for gusts upwards of 30 to 40 miles per hour. Gusty winds linger Wednesday night into Thursday as that cold front does move through while well, winds come down a little bit, but still it will be a breezy day for our Thursday. As we go into Thursday night, those winds, they start to come down a bit. So future cast kind of paints this out for us overnight. We'll look for a warm front pushing through. That's going to increase our clouds through the late evening here on your Tuesday. And by Wednesday morning could be as passing sprinkle and isolated shower early on in the day. Now much of the morning looks dry. I do expect to see clouds building into the area as we see our rain chances coming up here into the second half of the day. We'll look for temps to jump into the 70s. Very warm morning and afternoon. It'll feel great out there and then we start to see those rain chances coming up as we head past noon. So spotty showers, a few thunderstorms, chances for those increase after 12 p.m. and we'll keep watching for some rounds of showers or isolated storms through the remainder of our afternoon and evening. I do expect it to be the hit or miss variety, but that everybody has that chance to see some showers during the second half of the day. Now, a lull in the rain is possible here Wednesday night, but we will be watching a cold front approaching from the west, so that will keep rain chances high overnight into Thursday morning. This is the cold front approaching here. We stop at about 2.30 in the morning. We start looking for those showers coming back in, embedded thunderstorms possible as well. And what you notice is we come up on sunrise Thursday, you see this little bit of a line showing here. That is the leading edge of the cold front. This will come with a chance for a quick burst of some wind as that sweeps through the area. It's also going to drop our temperatures very quickly in the morning. So if your morning commute is before about 6 a.m., it'll still be pretty mild. If your morning commute takes place after about 7 or 8 a.m., I do expect a sharp drop in temps. It'll feel a little chilly out there perhaps as we drop quickly into the 40s. Now here's the good news. With that cold front moving through pretty quickly, the second half of our Thursday, we'll be able to salvage a pretty nice afternoon. I expect clouds to thin out, temperatures rebounding back to the upper 50s to near 60. That's close to average for us. Overall, it will be a nice second half of the day, but it starts off a little uh, wet with some showers, some thunderstorms, and then we'll keep those breezy winds during Thursday afternoon. So wind is up on our hassle factors list. Rain up there too. As we go through tonight, we'll be watching for an increase in clouds and a sprinkle as possible as that warmer push of air starts moving in. 54 for our low temperature. That's more so overnight. I already expect temps coming up a degree or two before sunrise as that warm push of southerly uh, wind so as the, uh, southerly air starts building in and the winds start to come up. So a sprinkle possible here early in the morning and then most of the latter part of the morning looking dry. Second half of the day though, more scattered showers, some thunderstorms popping up. We'll have those around into our Wednesday evening with some gusty wind and highs in the 70s. Thursday, well, we start the day wet. The afternoon I expect to dry out, still breezy. We'll get, uh, try and get back to the upper 50s after that quick drop I showed you in temperatures in the morning. Friday's looking like another nice day for us. I expect to see a little bit of sun out there and we're back into the 60s for highs. But by this weekend, the next push of cooler air starts moving in. We keep getting these on the weekends and this one no exception. We'll have the chance for showers as that colder air starts approaching Saturday. 56 are high. We drop to the upper 40s near 50 for Easter Sunday. It is looking like a dry day. That's the good news. Just a little cooler for us, so you might want the spring jackets for any Easter morning activities there. Then for Monday, we'll keep the temps in the lower 50s. The chance for shower returns and Tuesday looking similar chance for a few raindrops and staying in the low 50s.